Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a color spotlight and comparison. I'm here to show you the Henry Margu color 26GR, which is the color on my head. And I'm going to compare it to 88GR because I think these are fairly close with some pretty significant differences, but to the naked eye, you might be confused about it. So if you want to know more about this color comparison, then stick around for the rest of this video and we will dig deep into these colors. It has been a minute since I have done a color comparison video, and so I'm really excited to bring you this really fun one because I think these are a couple of colors that can be really, really difficult to choose between for some people. But I've got some fairly significant differences. Uh, well, let me just say they're not significant to me, but for someone who doesn't like certain tones, they might be significant enough that hopefully this will help you make a decision. So we're in my bedroom where I think I can get the best natural lighting for video and so I'm going to do and I will go outside so you can see this color fully outside but right now this is in completely natural lighting. I have a couple of pretty large windows right in front of me and so this is all natural light. I have no artificial light on me right now and so I think you're getting a really good color representation and then of course when we get outside you'll be able to see it even better and so the two colors like I said in the intro are 26 GR which is the color on my head right now and 88 GR which is the color I have here on the mannequin head and I did do a review of this particular jewels this one so I do have a video out there on that one already. I have a couple of Jules videos. I have this wig in another color as well that I did a color spotlight on. So if you're curious about Jules, you'll get to see her in a couple of different colors. Actually, I might have three other colors out there. I absolutely love this wig. It's just one of my favorite short curly styles. And so I have quite a few of her. And so this one has been a long time coming. Let me take uh, show you what this one looks like from all sides. And I'm going to grab my laptop here because I did some research on the colors and I'd like to read you what I found. So like I said, I've reviewed this wig, so I'm not going to talk about the wig itself, but I will link my review in the description so you can go straight to it after you've watched this if you want to know more about this style. So one thing to note, this is a rooted color. Both of these are rooted. And so the GR in the Henry Margu line stands for gradient root. And so you've got sort of a gradient root on here. It's it's. I would say it's similar to what Gabor or Raquel Welch does with their shadow shades. Uh, it's kind of, a, it's not a long root, it's just a really nice a deep at the root kind of uh, rooting. So both of these are rooted colors. So let's talk about this color, 26GR. So the color uh, description, and as you're looking at it, I want you to see if the description I found online matches the description that you're how you're viewing this color and I'll also talk about that but it's described as a gold blonde with with light blonde highlights and brown roots so that's how this is described gold blonde with light blonde highlights and brown roots I would say the biggest difference, and I will um, be able, I'll show you this one on my head as well, and I'll talk about this color. I would say the biggest difference between the two of them is this one has very little, if any, dark tones running through it. Because it's rooted, it will give it a slight darker impression than if it were not rooted, and that rooting does go all the way through. So you might get, you know, hints of the rooting as you're looking at it, but overall, there aren't any like low lights or anything to give it a darker tone. I would also say this is more of a kind of a yellow golden blonde uh, and it is a warm color, but it's not an in your face warm color. There isn't any red running through this. So it's really just that sort of golden blonde with some different golden blonde tones. Compared to the 88 GR, 
Let's read what this one looks like before I put this one on my head so that you can kind of see them side by side and see. So the ADHR, first of all, a 26 is a golden blonde. There is no 88 color code. 88 is a blend of multiple colors. So when you see some color codes, it can be really confusing because sometimes they are associated with a specific color and sometimes they're a blend of colors. That's really hard to know. Um, I do have a color index on my website for those of you who might be new to my channel and to my videos where I break down all the color codes for you. So if you go to my website, heywigsister.com, I have a blog there and I have a number of posts. One of them is a color, all about color, and it will give you a color index, which is a word document that will break down the color codes. And then I also have a brand color list which is an Excel spreadsheet and a bunch of different brands and different tabs on the bottom where it gives you the co different colors that come in that brand and descriptions. It's not a perfect document because things change in this world and new colors get in introduced. So when I have an opportunity to update it, I do, but it's a, it's a really good place for you to start. So let's talk about this color and then my laptop just timed out. Okay, let's talk about this color, 88GR. So this is described as a light wheat blonde with dark strawberry blonde highlights and medium brown roots. And it does tend to get a little bit lighter towards the end. It's almost like it's tipped. Not quite, but almost. The biggest difference between these two colors are the kind of the darker strawberry blonde running through it. It gives it a little, it's a much warmer appearance and it gives it a slight reddish hue. It's not red, but it definitely gives it a slight reddish hue, especially at the rooting. So you can see the rooting on this one and the rooting on this one. It is very, very obvious in pictures. So at the end of this video, I will tack on a number of side-by-side -side pictures so that you can see still shots of the color and in the specifically in the picture of the top of the rooting you can really see that sort of strawberry blonde the reddish hue on this one on the 88 GR it's pretty prominent make sure I'm in here So, you know, if you didn't have them side by side, it might be kind of tough to tell the difference. It's tough when you look online, especially to tell the difference. I would say that the, the depth of the rooting is similar, kind of a medium brown, but it's the reddish hue that makes them very different. And I would also say this almost has the appearance of low lights running through it just slightly, not fully, but that sort of darker strawberry blonde in contrast to some of the golden blonde that's in here, definitely gives it a little bit more depth of color. It's a little bit more of a dynamic color. And I would say it's a better color for a brunette looking to go blonde than this one. For uh, someone who's a brunette and you wanna go blonde and you're looking for some rooted blondes, this one might be a, quite a leap for you uh, because there aren't any of those low lights running through it or those darker tones, whereas the 88GR has those darker tones. Let me throw it on for you. It's a beautiful color. This is such a pretty color. I've actually worn this wig a few times. It's been a while since I've worn her, but I just love the messy, casual look of this wig. So I don't know if you could tell right away, but it's just got a warmer, warmer feel to it. It looks warmer on me with my skin tone. And if I, you know, somebody's bound to ask me which one I like better, it's this one. But I am a brunette naturally and I've been a brunette all my life I really only I I dyed my hair like blonde with sun in and and that kind of stuff in high school but I've never been a true blonde until I became a wig wearer and I started getting comfortable wearing blonde so I still gravitate toward the darker blondes the I like typically like cooler blondes 
but this one is so beautiful and I really love the combination of sort of the strawberry, the little bit of darker tones. I just think it's really a uh, beautiful color. This is pretty too, don't get me wrong. To me, this is just a little bit less dynamic. This one has some really beautiful like darker tones and lighter tones. I don't know if you can see that here. Whereas this one is, it definitely has multiple colors running through it, but it's not as obvious. They're much closer to each other. Some of the different tones to make up that golden blonde than this one. So no discernible red in the 26 GR, much more of a kind of a golden blonde, more of a yellow golden blonde. It is warm. It's not a cool color, but it's not overly warm. And whereas this one is warm, has those red tones, and you can definitely see it more at the top. All right, let's get outside so you can see both of these colors outside in full lighting. I'll have one on my head, one on the mannequin head. It'll be the 26GR on my head since that's really the focus of this video. And I thought it would be appropriate just to do the comparison. Um, and then you'll have hopefully enough information. If you've been struggling with these colors, you can make a good informed choice. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you have experience with these colors, leave it in the description. Help out a wig sister. I am not a perfect judge of all of this stuff. I'm just one voice. And so it's really helpful to get multiple kind of multiple opinions, multiple voices so that people can make good decisions. Let's get outside. All right, here we are in some in and out of cloud sunlight. So like I said, I just thought I stepped in something I didn't want to step in, but it was just a clump of grass. Okay, so you guys all know I have a couple of dogs. I gotta be careful. So this is the 26 GR on my head. And there's the 88. This is a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see if we can make this work. Hopefully you're getting a good look. I'm having a trouble seeing because it's really bright out here, so I can't see my screen that well. But hopefully this is giving you a good contrast. So as you can see, especially in this sunlight, this is very blonde compared to this one. There's that rooting. Maybe I can get these. I don't know how well I'm getting these side by side, but the goal really is for you to see this 26GR since I've never color spotlighted this one. So bottom line, if you're trying to make a decision and you, you like blondes, or you're looking for a blonde, ask yourself, first of all, do you like more golden blondes, sort of yellow golden blondes, warm, warmer blondes versus cooler blondes? That's the 26 GR. Or do you like some low light, some red, some strawberry, some depth and dimension, and maybe just a little bit warmer? That's the 88. Henry Margu has a ton of great colors though. Um, if you are wanting a cooler blonde, one that's a lot less warm, then I would recommend you look at my review of the one in the color 10613 GR. That one's much cooler and I do have that one in Jules as well. So anything related to this wig or these blondes in this brand, I will link in the description. So you'll have everything that you need if you're um, interested in learning more or maybe, or maybe getting one of these. I hope that helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you're having a great week and I hope that you have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon.